for example, what happens in the rural areas is that the place where the farmer lives might be some distance away from the actual farm, right? The water pump for the farm might be maybe a couple of kilometers away from the farmer's house. And what happens is that, let's say he has to kind of uh, switch on the water in the farm. Every time he has to keep going up and down. So there was actually a solution at that time where you had a, a small device fitted to the uh, pump and you kind of give a missed call on that and put a particular code, punch in a particular code. This is the feature phones, not even the smartphones. You punch in a particular code and the pump will start. And you uh, call the uh, same number and punch in a different code, the pump will shut down. So these kind of uh, solutions existed even in the pre-smartphone era. This is 2010, 2011. I came across a farmer, a Indian Punjabi farmer in the US who had created a device which bypassed the thermostat in the room air conditioner because a normal room air conditioner will not cool down the temperature below 16 to 17 uh, degrees. Whereas if you wanted to use it as a cold in a cold store, you need to bring it below 10 degrees, maybe even uh, five or six degrees. So what he had done is that used a device to bypass the thermostat in the uh, normal air conditioner so that it can cool down a small room in the village to maybe four or five degrees also. Right? It's It's not very complicated. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that how do you bring down the temperature but kind of uh, also manage the frosting issue. Let's say fruits, okay, you have various fruits, you have, uh, let's take watermelon, right? Now, we all lo love to eat watermelon, but then how do you know whether a watermelon is ripe or not? The farmer takes the watermelon and taps it like this and it produces a certain sound. And based on that, they estimate whether it is ripe or is it going to be hard, right? What does that indicate? It indicates that if there is a slightly hollow sound, that means the fruit has ripened. If it is hard from inside, that means you will get a slightly hard sound. Can you use a small device like a, which, which you, transmits a sound or an ultrasound, something, a small torch-like device, which when you kind of ping it on a particular fruit, whether it could be a watermelon, it could be a mango, it could be any other, and and the right uh, and it will determine whether it is ripe, the fruit is ripe or not. What that will do is that it will help both the farmer sell his produce and the customers get a better quality produce, right? And therefore create value along the chain. <laughs>